Hello my friends and welcome back to Dentures vs. Food where I try to teach you how to eat with your dentures. Now I said I was going to do a video about sticky food and I have a bowl full of bowl full of candy here and this is some pretty sticky stuff. Now please understand that I have five years experience controlling that bottom, well four years experience controlling this bottom denture with no adhesive. No adhesive on the bottom and only denture fit in the top. Please keep that in mind. I feel like adhesive gives us a sense of false security. Now I understand there are people out there that absolutely have to use adhesive. There's no denying that. There's people that absolutely have to use it. But it still gives us a false sense of security like, okay, my dentures are in, they're never going to move. And then halfway through the day we have to re-glue our bottom denture because we're not trying to take control of it using the muscles in our lips and our tongue. So this is a very sticky sugar candy, a uh, gummy type candy here. And even I get frustrated because it kind of sticks to everything. But I don't put the whole thing in my mouth either because then I would have no room for anything. This would make a mess in my mouth. So the first thing you notice is that I'm concentrating pretty hard. It's all up on the side right here already. I tried to keep it out of my cheek. I can feel it up in there. When I first bite through it, I have to keep my mouth closed and use my tongue to force it off the bottom denture because it's that sticky. Okay. You'll notice I'm keeping this part of my lip tight. It's getting all over the roof of my mouth. All up, all up in here. No matter how hard I try to keep my lips tight, it's getting all over the sides of my dentures. I can feel it when I'm talking. I can feel it when I'm just sitting here. Now there's a couple of things you can do. You can just leave it alone. Deal with the annoyance for a few minutes. It will dissolve away. Or, you just reach your fingers in there and drag it out. There's nothing wrong with that. Now since it's already all stuck to this side, I try to continue chewing on that side. Now there's a Tootsie Roll. As you can see, that's a regular Tootsie Roll. It's pretty hard because it's a little chilly in here, but again, I'm going to chew on this side. Because I've already got stuff already stuck to this side. There's no sense in letting it get all stuck to this side too. 
I'm literally squeezing all these muscles and trying to keep my tongue flattened out against the denture because if I don't, as soon as I go to bite and lift up, my denture will come up. See how I'm keeping the lip tight. A piece of toffee. This is regular toffee. Taffy, toffee, however you want to pronounce it. And, uh, you know, regular, regular taffy, toffee. And again, I'm going to try to stick to the one side because it's already got sticky stuff. I can still feel it up in my lip and down here. One of the objects with stickier foods is don't get if you feel it starting to stick to the side of your denture up here or down here, don't get crazy with your tongue trying to get it out while you still got a mouthful of sticky food in your mouth. Um, I have no idea what these are, but they're pretty daggum sticky. I ate one last night and this caused me some issues. So we're gonna try it again. Um, I have no idea what it is, it's almost like wax. Uh, the other thing is, I'm trying to keep it on the edge of my molar. I'm trying not to let it get in the middle. Okay, that's making a damn mess. I got candy everywhere. See? That just made a freaking mess from hell. There are some things that you're going to eat that you're just going to have to let, I mean, if you choose to eat stickier foods. I've got candy all stuck up inside. Those are the worst. I don't know what they are. There's no name on them. But they're absolutely the worst. Was that the only one? No, there's a yellow one. There's no name on these. I got these in a big bag full of candy. There's a green one. But those are the worst. Now the other thing you can do other than just letting it dissolve is you can swish some coffee or something warm. I can still feel a little down here beside my gums, but that'll dissolve away. So the gummies 
And I got these, these came in the package. You notice there's no names on any of them. It was just a big package of what they call parade candy. Chewing on stickier foods can be very frustrating. I don't do it very often. I do it to prove that it can be done. I'm not a big fan of candy for that matter. Not really. Oh yeah, I forgot. Somebody asked me to do caramel. Here's a caramel. Somebody asked me if I could include a caramel in this. So yeah, I can include a caramel. Um, boy, that's hard as a rock. Check this out, guys. That's like a rock. So that'll take a minute to warm up. Don't try to immediately You'll hurt yourself trying to chew down on a caramel that's that cold. But, you know, kind of partway bite. I don't know what it is about caramel, but damn. Makes my mouth water like crazy. All right, there we go. The thing with caramel is, I found that as long as you keep it between your teeth and don't let it get on the roof of your mouth, it's really not that sticky. Now if you let it get over in the center of your mouth and it'll stick to the roof of your mouth, that's a pain in the butt or if you let it get down beside your dentures. That's a pain in the butt. But other than that, that's my video for sticky foods. I do enjoy them sometimes. I enjoy candy like that. I bought that bag of candy. See, I still got slobber all over my chin from when I took my denture out because the candy was all making a mess in there. You're gonna have to experiment a little bit. I generally don't eat things like that when I'm out in public or around too many other people. With my brother, it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, if I'm out in public and things like that, I generally don't because it can really cause a mess. And you may have to take your denture out to keep from choking while you're sitting at a table in public or, you know, walking through a parking lot or something if you're eating candy like that you may have to take your denture out to keep from choking and that would not be a good idea it wouldn't embarrass me to have to do that personally but I know some people get embarrassed fairly easy so this is this was my third attempt to make this video because I've just had one of those days uh, woke up this morning and it was just one of those days and everything that can go wrong has gone wrong and I was trying to make this video in at the kitchen table and I was using my big Lumix camera you know my big nice camera and I forgot to tighten up one of the legs on my tripod and the camera was sitting there and all of a sudden it started falling away because the legs started folding up and it started falling away and I couldn't catch it and now it's all busted. It landed on the floor and busted so <laughs> this is my third attempt. My first attempt didn't go too well because uh, I forgot to turn on the microphone. My second attempt my camera broke. It's been a frustrating day but I still made the video and I'm still here for you. So remember that 
sometimes it's better to, well, it's always better to practice at home. It's always better to practice at home. Practice to know what you can and can't do with your dentures before you attempt it in public. I have no idea what my next video will be about. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens next week. I hope you tune in. I hope you have an amazing day. I will see you in my next video.